Mike Fulmer, Patriot of the Republic. In today's issue, I would like to talk about National Liberty Alliance or the website nationallibertyalliance.org. This is about reinstating, uh, bringing, um, making up a reinstatement committee to bring back and to real and to elect the common law grand jury in your county in your prospective state. There's about 3,000 plus counties all over the United States. That's, that's the 50 states in our union. And the people's common law grand jury is a unique uh, thing. It, it dates back to the, uh, the beginning days of our Constitution Republic. It was brought up through the original 13 colonies and carried on to the Declaration of Independence and the original U.S. Constitution. It's under the Fifth Amendment powers and this is what the People's Common Law Grand Jury could do. They could investigate civil servants and if the civil servant is found guilty through the investigation, the, the uh, common law grand jury will file an indictment and cr a set of criminal charges and hand it over to the county sheriff for an immediate arrest. And then the sheriff would have to tell the district attorney to file the charges against the civil servant for breaking the common law of the land, period. This will help put our civil servants back in back into the line. If they see more than one civil servant go to jail, they would not want to go to jail. They fear the idea of being brought up on an indictment and criminal charges and being prosecuted and thrown in jail. And that will bring the power back to we the people. It is not a citizen's grand jury, it is a people's grand, the people's common law grand jury. A citizen, let's look at that uh, word. A citizen is equivalent to a subject, and a subject is equivalent to a slave. I am not a slave, I am not a subject, I am not a citizen, I am one of the people. So if anybody gets questioned by a civil servant like a law enforcement peace officer or a county sheriff or deputy from the from your county sheriff's department don't answer that you're a citizen don't admit that you're a citizen admit just say you're one of the people but to get back to this topic uh, you would have to form a reinstatement committee out of the 3,000 plus counties through all 50 states of our un in this union of the United States and uh, well basically you would have to bring back the reinstatement committee then you would have to have an election date and you have to and in that process you have to inform all of the municipalities the boroughs and the townships in your prospective county within your prospective state. Please act now. It's important to bring back the People's Common Law Grand Jury because it could help save this country on a local and if this is done locally through a grassroots effort we could save this country and bring it back to the way it should be by following the common law of the Constitution of your state and the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. This is to save this country and to hold the civil servants that are properly breaking the law upright, to hold them accountable, and it will bring back the power to we the people, not the citizens the people of the United States and your prospective state and county and local level. 
you could go straight to National Liberty Alliance, sign up as a county, a coordinator, or co-coordinator, or also a jurist. Uh, NationalLibertyAlliance.org, you could just sign up on the site, like I just said, as a coordinator or a jurist. The power is in your hands, and you have to act now. Please bring back the People's Common Law Grand Jury to your prospective county and all the 3,000 plus counties in all 50 states in the United States. Please stand up and sign up now because that shows that you care and you're acting and you want to save our Constitution Republic from failing. Well, this is the Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now and God bless. Take care all. Bye.